and welcome back to Luna Yogini Channel. Namaskar. Annyeonghaseyo. Today we have SRD. If you have been following me, then you know who she is. Okay, those of you who are new here, I would like to say she is the brand owner of SRD. And this brand is a very sustainable and non-judgmental brand created for all human beings, everyone. right? Everyone. Yes, everyone. Even for aliens. Today, we are having this very beautiful collaboration called Kimchi Masala. Kimchi Masala! <laughs> what is Kimchi Masala? Kimchi Masala is basically, it's like a bonding between Korean culture and Indian culture because um, as you always know, like she is here in India since childhood, right? She is like one of the reason I came to know about Korean culture and I totally love it. The music, the art, fashion, everything about it is so amazing and uh, I always felt like we have some connection and uh, it's like a bonding and fashion has always been my way of expression so I just wanted to make these pretty pretty robes and I am inspired from Hambok, the Korean outfit, the traditional Korean outfit. But I wanted to be as sensitive as I can, as I should be. Mm. So uh, that's why I just thought that if Nirmala, I call her Nirmala. So if Nirmala Di, like plays a part in this whole thing, that would be so meaningful. Mm. So uh, this is Kimchi Masala. This is kimchi masala ah. and kimchi masala. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, as you can see, this robe, I can really connect to it because it reminds me of ko, which is the outer coat in Korean traditional attires. And red symbolizes vitality, strength and vitality. That's why the kings used to wear red, right? It is based on Indian fabric and Indian yes, cotton. Absolutely. But at the same time, as you can see, that the royal feel of this whole robe is inspired from the royal king's attire, right? Yes. So, yeah. So, I think this is so meaningful. Actually, she presented me this robe saying, this I created inspired by Korean traditional attire, hanbok. Hanbok literally means Korean clothing, okay? So, I felt I really want to give this to you because, yes, you mean a lot to me. And I was so touched and then we were just talking on it and then suddenly yes. inspired this collaboration and today we are finally manifesting it this is magic yes this is totally magic because this is like also like my dream coming true you are representing korea i'm representing india we yes. are representing each other's, each culture. other's culture yes so that's so beautiful right absolutely mm. very meaningful to both of us yes yes i'm too happy to say everything aloud in words so we'll just get into the video yes. We have four concepts for today. Yes. We'll be representing India and Korea and sharing that culture through these four concepts. So let's see where we go with it. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, Raka's grandma sent us some eclairs. Oh, Kiwish <laughs> tea. Let me see. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Do you get that? So cute. Is our photographer Arno? Hi. His Instagram link will be down below. So you can follow him as well and his works. Yay! That's my Lucky Pie. You can also follow his Instagram account. Do support my babe as well. So first is Yonji Gonji and Bindi. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, Bindi. Yes. Bindi in Hindi, right? Yes. Bindi yes. in Hindi. Yes. But basically, I'm also using Bindi to put the Yonji Gonji. And Yonji Gonji is like a very crucial part of like Korean bridal look. Uh -huh. So you can see like Koreans put these circles on the cheek and on the forehead. Yeah. So imagine, even in Korea, we wear Bindis mm. on our wedding day. Wow. Yay. So I'm going to put Yonji Gonji on her face and... I am going to put Bindi on her forehead. Yay!
the next concept is sharing food, cuisine, yes, yes snacks, actually. snacks actually. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, th these kind of represent India and Korea because these are really commonly eaten in both the countries. Same, same. So for Korea, it's rice crackers, and for India, it's chana too. Yay! Yeah. I will feed her. And rice. I will feed her this. Yep, yep. We'll feed yes. each other. <laughs> and the best thing is Korea and India both love eating. Yes, that is we very love true. Eating. Yes. And it's... rice is also common. Oh yeah. Beto Bangali, Beto Korean. Uh. <laughs> I love salt khwaja. Oh, great. Okay. Ah, Rang. Rang. Oh, Rang. Okay. So, 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 Rang. Banglai, Halu Basha Likbo. So, Erogore Amra, Amade language and Matume, at the exchanger Prokash And yeah, this is the third concept. one another Absolutely. and one another's culture as well as country yes this is the final concept and um, so
so happy that we could do this. Like she was mentioning that this whole process felt like a workshop. Absolutely. And I think it's more or less like a workshop. Also mm. like a like a representation of our own countries as well. Mm. And I am very proud to be an Indian and also I just love the fact that India is so inclusive. Mm. We always like to know about anyone's culture. Mm. That's how I felt so at home being in India because they are really really welcoming you know. Me as a Korean I also wanted to represent Korea as a very welcoming culture mm. because I have read about Hanbok mm. and I have seen that Hanbok is a very inclusive mm. traditional attire. Mm. Of course there are ways traditional ways to of wear course. it but through time and space it has changed mm. so i feel that srd representing korea through her jama jama means clothing in bengali, in bengali is so meaningful and i am sure that korea really appreciate your work of art thank yes you. so thank you so much for making me a part down below because that's the link for her online store thank you <laughs> so we have come to the end of our video and at the end i would like to say that through language mm. food and fashion we have expressed our love for each other we had moments of exchange as well as union and this was so meaningful for me absolutely as well as for her Yes, I mm. mean, it's more like Bengal tiger meets Korean tiger. <laughs> yeah, she found the link once again. <laughs> yeah, tiger link, rice link. We yes. have got, even in history, you told me the history mm. of Ayodhya princess. Yes. Even I always felt that I'm that Ayodhya princess who went to Korea and now I'm finally back to my motherland. But today she is representing oh. the Ayodhya princess. We are both, both in Ayodhya the same. princess. Yes. <laughs> yeah, fragmented twin souls, mm. perhaps. <laughs> who knows? At the end, once again, I would like to say that I love India. I love South Korea. Yes, yeah, so we love both our countries and we love the whole world. So, yes. Today, I hope this video filled your heart with joy seeing mm -hmm. this exchange of love. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Yay. Thank you, Rakta, for everything. Oh, thank you for having me. Oh, thank Aww. you. <laughs> yes, I have to thank her once again because if it was not for her creation, this day wouldn't have happened, right, guys? Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> Period. <laughs> thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, bye. bye. Annyeong. Annyeong. Ta-da. <laughs>